2007 club car ds that we're building here in the cart shop we're i'm going to remove this ugly steering wheel see how it gets faded it's nasty steering wheel we're going to be putting on an aftermarket steering wheel and i'm going to show you guys how to do that it's aggravating sometimes but this is the one we're putting on it comes with a little sticker there but i'm not sure how they pronounce it but this is the steering wheel this is for the club car ds the importance in a club car ds is it's got splines down there you see the splines a club car president does not have that it got it's got hex so when you're ordering your steering wheel you got to make sure that you get the proper steering wheel for your car this one's really nice because you know you don't need a, a hub the hub is built into the steering wheel so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to do this so on the back side here we've got to remove this plate because there's going to be a nut inside there we take there's phillips head bolts in here on both sides we remove those once they remove i can pull this off forward and i can get to the to the nut i've already got my tools laid out there let me remove that and then i'll show you guys all right as you can see here i removed this cover these were the bolts that came out of it these were Phillips heads. I removed them. You just go in the two there, and then there's two clips in the bottom that just snap in here. This is the nut. I went ahead and removed it. It's a it's a locking nut, fine thread. Um, that size is 15 sixteenths. So I've got it removed. I had to use an impact to get it off. It was pretty tight. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I remove them because they could be, you know, they're pressed on here. So they're extremely, extremely hard to get off and you don't want to ruin this, this thread here. But um, these things are really, really on there. So let me show you how I do it. Okay. All right, so now I've removed this. The most important thing is you want to try to have your steering wheel straight because this is splined in here. If you've got your steering wheel turned, when you pull it off to try to put your new one on, you'll be way off. But the most important thing is I screwed this nut back down to where it's flush with this shaft here because um, we are gonna be tapping on this with a hammer. Now, the, this, is the way, this is the way that I do it. Make sure the cart's in tow, key switch is, key switch is off. I usually put my feet up here very gently on both sides. And I take my knees and we're gonna we're gonna press on the steering wheel, you know, with your feet like this. So so that puts pressure on it. And I'm gonna take a, a hammer like this, and normally when you tap it a couple times and jar it as you're putting pressure, it'll pop off. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm, I've got pressure on here and I'm gonna tap this one good one good lick. And it didn't come off. Got it. So it took quite a few more than what I'd like to, but as you can see it's it's off now. Let me let me take the wrench and I'll turn it off for you. So you can see what we did. Oh, there it is. And that's how you get it. That's how you get a club card DS steering wheel. How you remove one. Sometimes it's aggravating, and as you can see, I did have to whack it a few more times than what I wanted to, but you want to really take care of this, these uh, threads here. So make sure when you thread your nut back on there that you thread it just to the top of that or a little bit beyond it because you're going to be whacking on it really hard. So that's how I get them off. Everybody uses different ways of doing it, but um, these things, that thing's probably been on there since 2007 when, we, when the car was made. So... Anyway, hopefully that helps somebody and um, to be able to pull their steering wheel off. Thank you. Well, as you can see now, I've got it put on there. And look how much better that looks. So, so much better. So much better. And I like these because they're really a nice firm grip, too. They're really, they feel good when you're driving. But um, there you go. Hopefully this uh, video helps someone get their club car DS 
steering wheel off. Um, we've used the same technique on other cars too. Just gotta be careful whenever you've got your feet up here and you're pressing on a dash or something. Um, normally I would have put a rag or something up there, but just gotta be extremely careful that you don't break anything up here. But I don't know, sort of a redneck way of doing it, but it, it works. Um, I've seen people try to pull them and all that kind of stuff with pullers and all that, but that seems to work the best for me, but may not be the proper way to do it, but it certainly works. So hope this helps someone in the future.